This video will demonstrate how to create a role for a district in order to assign the role to a new or existing user account. Roles are defined to represent basic functions, responsibilities, or tasks of the user. The district can customize a different role for each user and or create a group role which allows the same type of users, for example, high school secretaries, access to the same programs or functions in USASR. In my example, I want to create a role for all high school secretaries. So I'm going to go up to the admin menu and select the role option. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on create. And so my ID is going to be called HS secretary. And for a more defined description, I'll go ahead and type that in here high school secretaries. All the high school secretaries should have full requisition functionality, but only view vendor data and create a PO report. In order to have these specific abilities, permissions are granted, which allow specific functionality within the software. Permissions available are on the left-hand side and are set up in a hierarchy. Granting access to the top level grants all the access below it. So if I go down to find requisitions, I'm going under USAS, and then there should be requisition section. So for my example, I want them to have full requisition functionality. So I'm going to select USAS requisition and place that in the granted column. You can double click it or you can click it once and use the arrows. Um, or if you have multiple permissions that you want to grant, you can hold down the control key and click on multiple permissions at once. So for this example, I'm going to double click on USAS requisitions. So this basically means this is the full access, meaning they can create, they can delete, they can update, they can report, and they can view for any of the requisitions. I'm going to double click on that. And so the next permission I want them to have is be able to view vendors. So I don't want them to be able to create them or modify a vendor, just view that data. So I'm going to go back down to USAS and then the vendor data. And you'll see that this USAS underscore vendor will get access to everything. I don't want that. I just want them to be able to view. So I'm going to click on the USAS underscore vendor underscore view. And then the last thing I want to do is be able for them to create a purchase order report. So I'm going to scroll back down and go into USAS purchase orders. And here's the full functionality for purchase orders. I just want them to be able to generate a report. So I'm going to select the report option. So once I confirm what is displayed in my granite column is correct, I can click on save to save this role. This can then be entered in a new or existing user's account using the user option under the admin menu.